Today's cardinal lesson is talking about retirement savings and distribution of your retirement savings, contributions 70 and above. So those of you that are not 70 yet, which is a lot of you, then this is a planning issue. Is that while you're doing financial planning, retirement planning, you're getting ready to make distributions. And if you plan to still work beyond 70, like I do, then you're going to be in a situation of making contributions or not. So that's what today's lesson is about. And the SECURE Act, which was a big deal that was passed, and it started at the beginning of 2020. So it was passed in 2019, went in effect in 2020, and had far-reaching implications for IRAs, 401ks, anything that's qualified money or money that you've not paid taxes on yet. And that was passed and went in effect just about a year ago. Now, what we had happen was, of course, the coronavirus, and then we had the CARES Act, which covered a lot more than IRAs. And the CARES Act had a lot of things you can and can't do with IRAs as part of it. And that kind of overshadowed the SECURE Act. So I'm not talking about the CARES Act today. I'm talking about the SECURE Act. And what it did, among many things, is it changed the start date for required minimum distributions, or RMDs. It moved it from 70 and a half to 72. So now the government is telling you you can wait a little bit longer to take money out of your IRAs out of your IRA than you used to. Made it a little less confusing, let you delay it a little bit. And that changed. And then it also changed that if you're still working beyond 70, you can still contribute to your IRA. So and it's a whole host of other things. So what we're talking about today is whether it's a good idea to still contribute to your IRA if you're working past 70, and then if it's a good idea to distribute or to take money out. So, and just generally speaking, because of the lack of clarity within the law, I would not make a tr contribution beyond age 70 to a traditional IRA without giving the IRS a chance to rule on this. I mean, that's how I'm advising my clients. And it's specifically people that are 70, 71, but it could be older than that. The SECURE Act made some changes where that made it possible, but it's still not clear on some things. So I would hold off on that or I'd do it in a different way. And the different way is utilizing a Roth IRA strategy. So you just make a contribution to a Roth IRA. And if you make too much money and you're past 70, to contribute to a Roth IRA, we have a way to do it through what's called a backdoor Roth. So I'm not going to try to get into that into the video. You can just contact me and I can show you how to do that. Um, we also, I want you, everybody to consider that's 70 and a half or older to consider the strategy of a QCD, which is a qualified charitable distribution. And with a qualified charitable distribution, you can donate directly from your IRA to the charity up to $100,000 a year per person, and it never shows up on your tax return. So it's a qualified charitable distribution, and it needs to be the first distribution of the year. So if you're watching this in January, you know, and you're thinking about this strategy, you want to make sure you do this before you do any other distributions from your IRA, from your traditional IRAs. And you certainly can get in touch with me and I can help you make sure that you do this properly. So we got QCD, we got a Roth IRA and a Roth IRA strategy, which is really just taking the tax hit on the front end and putting after tax money contributed there and then which becomes tax free money for you available in retirement, and you can even leave this to your heirs tax-free. This Roth IRA strategy is going to work for people of any age. I'm Hans Scheil, and I thank you for listening.